What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we've got the last part of Battlefield weapons in real life and we're going over the tactical weapons and for those of you who might not be familiar with this series of videos, we take a look at Battlefield weapons in real life to get to know them better and kind of know what we shoot next time we hop into the game. For the gun nerds, these videos are going to be great. Also, the links to previous parts are down in the description and we have a playlist now called Real Life Battlefield where you can watch these videos respectively. With all that said, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Just a quick reminder though, Ghostmaker R10 and Rorsk MK4 have no real life equivalent and because of that, we just gotta skip those two. Alright, starting off, we've got the MSC 880, which might be familiar for those of you who come from BF3 and 4, because it's just the upgraded variant of the MCS 870 in those games. We've got this shotgun in Battlefield Hardline and Bad Company 2 as well. It's a pump action 12 gauge shotgun designed and manufactured by Remington. And you might want to know that this bad boy here is the most selling shotgun in history. 11 million units of this weapon have been built and this number is increasing to this date. The weapon was first designed in 1950 and went into production in 1951. Different variants of this weapon are in service in more than 20 countries around the world. And to be exact, it's 22 countries, including Canada, Brazil, Germany, and Greece. In 2042, this weapon has an interesting history. At first, it was a non-popular, weak shotgun, then got over-buffed in Season 6, if you guys remember, and finally was nerfed to perfection in mid-season. So, right now, it's alright. Next up, we've got the GVT4570, which is called the Marlin Model 336 in real life. It's a lever-action rifle and carbine made by Marlin Firearms. It was first introduced in 1948, that's just three years after the end of World War II, and it's so weird to have a weapon like this, this old in Battlefield 2042. Of course, there are different variants of this weapon, it's because it's still being produced. Actually, 4 million units of this weapon have already been built, so it is a weapon with quite a history to back it up. This weapon is being offered in different calibers and barrel lengths, but it's commonly chambered in 30 Winchester and 35 Remington using a 20 or 20 inch barrel. Some people refer to this weapon as a faster firing sniper rifle in Battlefield 2042 because of its low bullet drop and fast firing rates, and I do believe it can outgun snipers in medium range but may struggle against DMRs. Next weapon is the 12M Auto, an outstanding semi-automatic shotgun which is called the Saiga 12 in real life. You guys probably remember this weapon from Battlefield 3 and 4. It's a Russian shotgun developed based on the AK platform, chambered in 12 and 20 gauge, first designed in 1990s. All variants of Saiga 12 are easily recognizable by features they have in common with AK rifles, like the large lever safety on the right side of the receiver. Saiga 12 was first produced for hunting in civilian market in Russia and for export. However, Russian armed forces use a combat variant of the shotgun called the KSK, which is chambered in 12 gauge. Now, there's something very interesting about this weapon that I bet most of you don't even know. This thing is actually being used by some SWAT teams and police units in the US. That was shocking when I first heard about it, but that's true and it's just odd to see a Russian weapon being in service in the United States. It's also in service in France, Egypt, Ukraine and some more countries. And I have to say, it's a dominator in Battlefield 2042, especially with that drum mag. Last but not least, we've got the NVK S22, which is called the Standard Manufacturing DP12. There are some clever and outstanding features this weapon has that seem kind of worrying in terms of reliability, to be honest, but it's just so badass. It's a pump-action, manually operated 12-gauge shotgun designed and developed by Standard Manufacturing. This weapon has two barrels, and it has two tube magazines, each of which feeds its own barrel. And that's just crazy, but it's not all. The weapon has two triggers as well, meaning that the operator can actually choose which barrel to shoot from. Crazy, isn't it? First trigger fires the right barrel and the second one fires the left barrel. Having all this crazy stuff, the weapon went into production in 2015 with an MSRP of $1,400. In Battlefield 2042, because of its lower fire rate and the more time it takes to reload this weapon, people prefer to play the 12M Auto, but this weapon is still a beast with more range, so it all depends on the player. With all that said, people, it's time to end today's video and this video series as well. Hope you enjoyed and hope it was helpful. This video has really educated myself about the weapons and it never hurts to know just a bit more about firearms instead of only playing them in video games. Also, I'll make sure to make a better version of these videos for the next Battlefield game in 2025, but that's going to happen in approximately two years, so don't get your hopes high. Until next time, guys, stay cool.